and welcome back here. My name is Yvette and I am a certified weight loss coach. This channel is actually made for people who are middle-aged or older and we are helping you to get rid of stubborn fat, stubborn belly fat that you accumulated throughout building your career or went through menopause or had a couple of pregnancies and the weight just doesn't want to go away, then this channel is absolutely for you. I make weight loss very easy and very simplified, nothing complicated. Everyone can follow it even if you have no cooking skills. This is really very simple. I developed the method to actually give over how to make weight loss very simplified, workable for everyone and actually make it into a lifestyle so you never go back to your old habits and you are not gaining back the weight. Weight loss is actually very easy and fun to do if you know how to do it and if you have the right information. If you watch this video, you will get to know the top 10 fat burning foods. These are foods that actually promote and help you to burn your own body fat and therefore you will slim down. This video is very simple and very bare minimum theory and some people just only want to have that and they don't want a lot of blah blah or why it is they just want the solution so in this video you only get the solution so if you are one of those people then this video is for you if you actually want to understand a step-by-step -step way how fat burning works how did you get fat the first place or how did your health decline the first place then you definitely want to check out my free webinar i will put the card up here and in the comments below so you can go ahead and check out my free training video it's absolutely for free and you will get a great understanding from A to Z and you will be able to apply it right away. As I said, I have to cover a very little theory here so you actually understand why do you need to eat those foods I suggest in this video and why are they promoting fat burning. The good news is to lose weight and actually slim down, you don't have to starve yourself, you don't have to eat less of anything, you don't have to go on a very calorie deficit lifestyle, you actually need to focus on foods that are promoting fat burning, that are promoting your fat burning hormones and actually nullifying your fat storing hormones. So all these 10 foods I am going to cover right now actually greatly promoting fat burning hormones and nullifying fat storing hormones. To stay in fat burning you need to actually bring down your insulin hormone. Insulin hormone is your major fat storing hormone. It's a communication in your body and this decides if you are going to go fat or you're gonna slim down. So you need to actually use it smartly in order to slim down and you need to focus on food groups that actually keep insulin low and avoid all the other food groups that increase insulin if you want to lose weight. In this video I am not going to mention those foods that are actually spiking your insulin meaning making you fat. In this video we are going to cover only the foods that actually help weight loss. But again if you want to know how this exactly works check out my free webinar because I really cover everything step by step so you will have a full complete understanding and application in your hands so you know what to do in order to increase your health and lose weight. I am telling you that eating certain foods will increase your fat burning abilities and decreasing the intake of certain foods will actually help you to lose weight. So now I will cover this top 10 foods and I will tell you why is it good to take them and why is it helping you to lose weight. As I said, all of these foods actually keep your insulin level low that is key when you're trying to lose weight and I also gonna tell you the benefits of consuming these foods number one very simple eggs eggs are like an amazing food source it's a very complete protein you actually have everything to make a chicken out of it this was just a joke it's actually a very complete food source and 48% of that egg actually turns into body tissue in your own body meaning that you eat one egg and 
element of that one egg going to be turning into body tissue in your own body. It's actually more than meat because meat is only 32%. So if you eat a regular piece of size of meat, 32% of that meat going to turn into body tissue in your body and egg is a 48%. This isn't absorption, this is actually that turns into actual human body tissue. Eggs are very rich in selenium, vitamin D, B6, B12 and minerals such as zinc, iron and copper. Egg yolks contain more calories and fat than the whites. They are a source of fat-soluble vitamins just like A, D, E, and K, and lecithin. It's a great source of omega-3 fatty acids as well. Salmon is my all-time favorite and it's very rich in omega-3 fatty acids. If you don't know what are fatty acids, here is the definition. Fatty acids are the building blocks of the fat in our bodies and in the food we eat. During digestion, the body breaks down fats into fatty acids, which can then be absorbed into the blood. Fatty acids molecules are usually joined together in groups of three. So this is a very simple definition, and that's what actually your body needs as a building block. Omega-3 fatty acids actually shown to decrease inflammation in your body. It can help you to reduce your blood pressure and it's also great to prevent some of the diseases. Salmon is a great source of protein and about 100 gram will give you 20-25 gram of pure protein. Your body requires protein in order to heal protect the muscles and actually develop more and more muscles and also good for your bones. Salmon is also an excellent source of B vitamins. B vitamins also help control inflammations in the body. The next stop is sauerkraut. This is my all-time favorite. I love sauerkraut and two handful of sauerkraut a day actually gives you your complete vitamin C needs and then you don't have a need to take and pop synthetic ascorbic acids that actually can create belly fat in itself when you overdo ascorbic acid. Sauerkraut is very rich in vitamins, fiber and minerals. Sauerkraut is a really great natural probiotic so if you have any digestive issues, you have bloating, constipations or different other issues, heartburn, definitely start to consume some sauerkraut. The next one is olive oil. Olive oil is really great for a lot of things. It's very yummy on salad and it's easy to consume for most of the people. Olive oil have two nutrients in it and that helps to actually improve inflammation. So I think that's one of the reasons why it's really good for you because it improves your inflammation level. Olive oil is a type of oil that wouldn't spike your insulin and actually would help you to promote fat burning while you are consuming it with your meals. The next one is leafy greens. Leafy greens are packed with potassium and an average person need about 4,700 milligram of potassium to maintain your normal body functions. Actually, potassium is a natural tranquilizer. So if you feel more worried, anxious, can't sleep, popcorning ideas, worries, or you just feel uncalm, I bet you, you are too low on your veggies, you are too low on your leafy greens, and you just don't have enough potassium. So if you are someone I just described before, definitely get more leafy greens, get your 4,700 milligram of need of potassium, and you will feel a lot calmer because it's a natural tranquilizer for your body. If you are active, if you are have a stressful life, if you are going through a stressful period, especially right now, then I would suggest even step up your leafy green intake even more because it will just help you to feel generally calmer and sleep better. Leafy greens are like kale, rucola, collard greens, 
spinach, beet greens, and so on, and you can't go wrong with a mixed leafy greens salad mix. The next one is one of my favorite, it's avocados. I know some people hate avocados, and you think that it's going bad so quickly, but actually the key is to put avocados into the fridge and it will last much longer. One avocado have in average about 875 milligram of potassium, and that's quite a lot when you are aiming for 4,700 a day on a minimum, bare minimum level. So I would say one avocado is a really rich source of potassium and it's also a great healthy fat. It keeps you full longer and it's definitely something that will promote fat burning. Avocados are really high in fiber, low carbs, high fat, and it's just a great source to actually get veggies in with some taste. You can make guacamole out of it or dips or just have it with your egg toast. It's really a great source to have in your everyday life. So if you would do one avocado every day, that would be just perfect for your fat burning. Pecans are very low carb and high fat and just a handful of pecans are going a long way. It's really great to actually not feeling hungry and burn your own fat for weight loss. And also it's a great source of B vitamins. It's packed with B vitamins, so it's really good if you need extra B vitamins, especially at stressful period of time. Pecans are an excellent source of vitamin E, a zinc, folate, phosphorus, which play an important role in maintaining good skin. Actually, apple cider vinegar is going to help to reduce your blood sugar. It will reduce your cravings. It will help you to improve your insulin resistance, meaning it's going to make it better, so you are less insulin resistant, and therefore you will crave less, feel less hungry and actually you will be able to be in fat burning for longer periods of time without feeling hungry or without feeling deprived. And usually I actually recommend that you take a glass of water, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, some lemon so it tastes nice and you drink it with a straw to protect your teeth and you consume this together with your meals no matter if it's before or after or during your meal, you just have to drink it with your meal. And actually, this is a great tool to actually help you to slim down. Apple cider vinegar is also a great tool to improve heartburn or bloating or indigestions because generally when people tend to have these issues, they don't lose weight. Like if you have indigestion, bloating, or just something going on in your digestive system, then weight loss is really hard. So you definitely want to support that. And generally, apple cider vinegar really gives you a relief and makes your digestion better. So weight loss can occur. The next ones are olives. Olives, actually a strange fruit. Actually, yes, it's a fruit because it's so high in fat, but it's extremely low carb. Olives are a good source for vitamin E, iron, copper, and calcium. Olives are very rich in antioxidants and therefore they have tons of health benefits. For example, can lower your blood pressure and lower your cholesterol. They might also reduce the risk for cancer and prevent or improve bone loss, but more research needs to be done on those topics. And the last one is lemon. Lemon is one of my all-time favorite food. I love everything with lemon, and lemon is actually very low carb. It helps you to stay hydrated. It acts like an electrolyte, actually, in your body, so it's really nice. It's also help you to decrease hunger, so another very good benefit. It improves your digestion, so your digestion is actually much better with some some lemon water. Some people are very prone to kidney stones and when you follow a low carb, high fat or a healthy ketogenic lifestyle, you could develop kidney stone just because you are actually pro to begin with and lemon water actually can help to prevent and dissolve kidney stones. So it's highly advised if you follow a low carb, high fat or a healthy ketogenic lifestyle, then you have lemon water every single day with your meals because that's just going to improve your digestion in general and going to prevent to develop any kind of kidney stones if you fall into the category 
of people who are pro to stoning. If you like this video and you feel you got something out of this, then you're definitely going to love my webinar. If you wanna know how to lose weight step by step and actually succeed this time, you definitely wanna go there and check it out. It's one hour long, repeats every 15 minutes, you can watch it anytime you get the time to do it and it's great amount of information. The information you learn, you will be able to use right away. So if you are someone who failed on every previous diet, you had a couple of kids, you went through menopause, gained about 30, 40 pounds, or you gained a lot of weight throughout the years while you built your career, then this training is for you and I want you to give a chance for yourself and go and check it out. Weight loss is possible. I did it many times with many middle-aged people, no matter if they were female or male, we got results. So it's really possible, I am telling you, because I saw it with my own eyes and I want you to have that success yourself. So definitely head to my webinar and check it out. If you like this video, definitely smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and comment what's your number one fat burning food what do you turn to and don't forget to share this video with your friends and family see you guys